Hi friends, welcome to Connexa Technical Insight. I'm Rahul Randeria and I would be conducting today's show. Today we would be discussing regarding the trends, the setups, the technical indicators, the derivative data of Nifty, Bank Nifty, as well as the different asset classes. Now, first of all, a general disclaimer. This video is only for education purpose. Please consult your financial advisor before investing in trading. Now, let us discuss what we have mentioned in our last video. In our last video, we have mentioned that the markets, uh, the undertone of the market was bullish. Last week was a truncated week. Hardly three days of trading were there. We have a monthly expiry as well as the financial year expiry. So we were expecting some sort of cool up initially and then we might see a bounce back. So we had a strategy of buy on dips and we have uh, suggested that traders should have a buy on dips strategy or they can uh, use first half an hour to 45 minutes range breakout strategy for uh, specifically for trading the indices. And that uh, panned out very well in the last week and market uh, managed to close on a strong note. However, in the last one hour uh, on Thursday, we saw some sort of selling pressure coming in at the higher levels, maybe around 22,500 and it ended slightly off the day's high, but overall it ended on a positive note on the weekly basis. So without wasting time, let us go to the Nifty daily charts. We'll try to figure out what could be the trend for the next week. So let me, this is the Nifty daily charts you can see on the screen. Uh, now here uh, we have been discussing regarding this particular expanding triangle since last couple of months and Nifty has very well managed uh, to trade in this particular, uh, uh, you can say, the expanding uh, triangle pattern. Definitely uh, last week Nifty did manage to challenge its lifetime high which was 22,525. On Thursday, it has just uh, tested the level of 22,516 uh, on the upside. And after that, we saw uh, some sort of selling pressure from the handlers. Let me take you to the 10 minute charts so that we will have a clear view. This was, you can clearly see the selling started around uh, 2 p.m. and 43 minutes. And it uh, lasted till, you know, uh, the, the end, end of the trading sessions. But definitely you can see the closing was uh, good on the weekly basis. This is the daily charts. RSI is also in comfortable zone. You can clearly see it is positive. So uh, on the daily charts, it is some sort of upward wick has been formed, which we call as a shadow on the upside. But the weekly charts is clearly indicating a strong bullish candle. You can clearly see which is clearly indicating that the larger degree trend still remains to be intact but on the daily charts uh, purely on the basis of this particular long shadow on the upside we feel or i feel that uh, some sort of cool off or some sort of uh, further profit booking cannot be ruled out but that should be used as a buying opportunity again one more important thing which i would like like to highlight is that uh, nifty has formed or has seen an inverse head and shoulder breakout you can clearly see this is an inverse head and shoulder breakout so it is a reversal pattern which we have discussed last week also that uh, nifty was waiting for some breakout on the upside and that we did so definitely this reversal pattern can extend this particular uh, upside trend in the coming months also so definitely overall chart seems to be positive but just purely looking at uh, to this particular week we feel that some sort of uh, some sort of uh, cool off cannot be ruled out but that should be used as a buying opportunity so friends now let us discuss the uh, important supports and resistance level for the next week in the nifty the first support in the nifty is placed around 22204 below that the second support is placed around 22096 and below that the third support is placed around 21947 on the downside Whereas on the upside, uh, the first resistance is placed around 22,446. Above that, the second resistance, which is the lifetime high, which is around 22,526. If it breaks, then the next trajectory of the third resistance is around 22,666. These are the crucial supports and resistance level in Nifty for the next week. Traders should just uh, closely monitor this level. And most probably, uh, the strategy should be buy on dips, buy on support and sell on resistance should be the uh, the view for the next week. So most probably uh, the first support is around 22,000 
and uh, around those level one can try to buy or create fresh long positions uh, for the next week so friends now let us discuss the derivative data of nifty calls for the next week in nifty calls the action was seen in uh, 22400 calls 22500 calls 232600 calls and 22700 calls now here you can see there has been a rise in the open interest rise in the volumes the uh, implied volatility is between uh, 9.99 and 10.62 the option premium are positive so uh, there is no yet hard core writing seen at these levels but the data is positive at this juncture on immediate basis 22400 could act as an immediate resistance if it closes above those levels then next major resistance is 22500 and if it if it breaks decisively 22500 then there are chances that nifty might rally towards the level of 22700 in the next week now friends let us discuss the derivative data of nifty puts in nifty puts the action was seen in uh, 22300 puts 22200 puts 22100 and 22000 puts now here you can see there has been a drop in the option premium which clearly indicates that the smart money is already into writing the puts implied volatility is be between 11.54 and uh, 12.55 so definitely there has been a rise in the open interest but there is some sort of shedding seen in uh, seen in 22000 puts but that is minimal so on this data we feel that uh, on immediate basis 22300 could act as an immediate support if it breaks then next support looking at to the data of open interest and volumes the next support is coming around 22200 so we feel that uh, nifty might take support between 22200 and 22100 and that should and that should be used to go long or that should be the ideal area between 22200 and 22100 where one can go long at the lower levels if there is some sort of cool off next week so friends now let us discuss uh, the bank nifty data so let us go to the bank nifty daily charts we will try to figure out what could be the trend for the next week now this is the bank nifty daily chart you can clearly see bank nifty has been moving in this particular uh, range definitely uh, there is uh, some kind of strength which was seen in bank nifty overall uh, you can clearly see it is slowly and gradually rising from this particular range let me draw a simple parallel you can clearly see it is between uh, the midway of this rising channel so it has potential to test its lifetime high which is around 40 8869 in the coming months so definitely the overall chart seems to be positive any dips should be used as a buying opportunity because you can clearly see bank nifty has taken out this congestion range of last 7 to 8 trading sessions decisively let me go to the nifty uh, bank nifty daily chart you can clearly see it has formed an uh, bullish candle on the larger degree trend uh, indicating that bank nifty has potential to test its lifetime high in the coming months so definitely this is a positive sign at this juncture you can clearly see rsi is also with positive signs from the comfortable zone so definitely any dips should be used as a buying opportunity in bank nifty also so friends now let us discuss the important supports and resistant level in bank nifty for the next week the first support in the bank nifty is placed around 46827 below that the second support is placed around 46643 and below that the third support is placed around 46310 on the upside the first resistance is placed around 47440 second resistance is around 47812 and third resistance is around 48161 so these are the crucial supports and resistance level in bank nifty traders should try to closely monitor the supports and resistance level and one should have a buy on dips strategy for the next week so friends now let us discuss uh, the derivative data of bank nifty calls in bank nifty calls the action was seen in 47500 calls 
47,800 calls and 47, 48,000 calls. Now here you can see there was rise in the open interest, rise in the volumes. Implied volatility is between 12.88 and 13.76. Uh, the option premium are positive, but that means uh, the data is positive at this juncture. But on immediate basis, 47,500 could act as an immediate resistance uh, or support at this juncture. If uh, that is taken out decisively, then we might see Bank Nifty rallying towards the level of 48,000. Yes, obviously, that could be uh, immediate uh, next resistance around 47,800 at this juncture. But most probably on immediate basis, 47,500 could act as a very strong support. If it is taken out decisively and Bank Nifty closes above those levels, then it can rally towards 48,000. Now, friends, let us discuss the Bank Nifty put data. In Bank Nifty put, the action was seen in uh, 47,000 puts, 46,500 puts, and 46,000 puts. Now, here you can see there has been a significant drop in the option premium, which is clearly indicating that the smart money has already into writing the out of the money puts or at the money puts, which is quite positive at this juncture. There has been a rise in the open interest, rise in the volumes. So on immediate basis, 47,000 would act as an immediate support. If it breaks, then Bank Nifty might drift down to the levels of 46,800 and 46,700. Now that should be used to go long at the lower level. Or quite positive, if there is any severe correction, then Bank Nifty might get stable around 46,500. So maybe between 46,700 to 46,500, one can go long or create fresh long position from those levels. So overall, looking at uh, to the charts and derivative data of Nifty and Bank Nifty, the larger degree trend remains to be positive. But at least for the next week, a cool off cannot be ruled out. And that cool off should be used as a buying opportunity at the lower levels. So friends, now let us come to the final segment of our show, which is positional call. Now, I identify one stock from the power sector. The name of the stock is Adani Power. Now, we can clearly see uh, Adani Power has been moving in a triangle pattern, or you can call it, it is moving in a flag formation. You can see this particular rise, and then it is going sideways since December 2000, uh, since November 2023. So definitely it has taken a long time for consolidation now stock is poised for a strong rally from this juncture currently the stock is trading just below its lifetime high you can clearly see the charts at least conservatively we feel that the stock has potential to test its lifetime high which is around 590 odd mark currently you can see in the last two trading sessions there was some sort of volume spike so this might be the action of the bulls so we might see stock uh, rallying from these levels so stock has potential to test its upward uh, lifetime high which is 590 rsi is also with positive bias or positive signal at this juncture so definitely uh, long-term investors swing traders positional traders can buy adadi power in the range of 533 and on dips to 520 for an upside target of 590 or 585 to 590 in short to medium term short to medium term means with an investment horizon of next three to four months so definitely uh, the stock is looking strong at this juncture for an upside target of 590 in short to medium term so definitely long-term investors positional traders swing traders can look to accumulate the stock in the range of 533 and on dips to 520 for an upside target of 590 in short to medium term. So friends, uh, thank you very much for watching the show. Any suggestion you can give in the comment box and have a nice trading week. Thank you.